If you're a real estate investor and are wondering how to raise and leverage private money to make more profit on every deal, then you're in the right place. On Raising Private Money, we'll speak with new and seasoned investors to dissect their deals and extract the best tips and strategies to help you get the money, because the money comes first. Now here's your host, Jay Conner. Uh, let's see here. Next one. Okay, Chaffee, I'll give you this one. Um, how soon can I expect to acquire rehab and sell my first property when I am just now coming into platinum and mastermind coaching? Yes, that is the answer, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> Does it depend? Does it depend on if they do what we tell them to do? It depends on many things. Should I put my attorney hat on and say it depends? Right? That's right. That's right. That's that is a very loaded question. Um, <laughs> and uh, it, and yes, it it definitely depends upon whether the, we they do what we tell them to do. And uh, if you were at the mastermind, and I know many of you were, um, the I think the constant theme during the mastermind was do what crystal tells you to do the first time right so uh, we heard that many times the first time not the second or third time after you've messed up the first time and it also depends upon your prior experience if you're brand new and have never done a deal and are, are transitioning from the corporate world um, many of our students do have full-time jobs um, you know, that's going to be completely different than somebody that doesn't have a full-time job and is working 40, 50, 60 hours in the real estate business. So, you know, the, the times vary. And I will tell you it, that is that um, deals happen all the time. And if you're willing to work this business and put forth the time and effort to do the business, then you will succeed. Um, I do want to add one final thing, Jay, which is something that you offer that almost nobody offers, um, which is a guarantee with your mentorship packages, right? And the guarantee on the Platinum Plus and the Mastermind packages is that if you do what we tell you to do and you follow the processes and the systems that Jay has already laid out for you, that you're going to double your investment in the program. And I've never seen any other coaching program or mentorship program that guarantees to double your investment within that time period. And that's in writing. And we've offered that since I started working with you, Jay, um, over like 10 years ago. And, you know, you won't find anything on the Internet that says, oh, Jay's full of crock or Jay's full of that or whatever, because it works. Right. And and the students know that when they do what Jay tells them to do, when they do what, you know, Crystal and I tell them to do, then they get results and um, and that you'll you'll show them the path and you'll show them the way. So, you know, I don't know how else to answer that. <laughs> I, th I think you covered the bases. Well, now, um, down here on my screen, I also see a Banjo and Erica, longtime mastermind members, pl uh, graduated Platinum Plus. Uh, for those of you that haven't met Banjo and Erica, they're out there in Mississippi, small town Mississippi. So I'm giving you the next question there, Banjo and Erica. Um, one of the aha moments uh, from the event was the yeah, Tim put cracking the whip there in the uh, chat. I think that's for you, Chaffee. Um, one of the aha moments there, Banjo and uh, Erica was, um, let me find it here. There are additional places where private lenders can get money to do business with us and invest in our deals. Home equity lines, brokerage accounts, whole life insurance companies, um, and self-directed IRAs. So Banjo and Erica, speak to that. How is it that, uh, and I know I'm asking you a uh, 90 minute presentation question, so you got 90 seconds to answer it. But uh, what what's the gist of how is it that um, people can use self-directed, well, let's just do self-directed IRAs. How can people use self-directed IRAs and their retirement funds to uh, invest and loan you money in your deals? So there's a handful of companies that the IRS ap approves uh, in the United States called third-party custodians. And those are the companies that have been approved to kind of manage and look over someone's uh, retirement account. However, the big difference with these things is that they're self-directed. 
uh, when, when we say self-directed, it means truly self-directed so that, you know, if you have your, if you move your retirement funds over to uh, the company that we and you also like to use because of the customer service, Quest Trust, if you don't direct them to invest your funds, then it just sits there. And so you truly self be, are able to self-direct it in all kind of uh, all sorts of things. And a lot of people who use those types of uh, vehicles lend money in real estate, being that real estate is one of the you know most proven asset classes in, in America. Excellent. So a lesson to take away from that, and obviously the sun has gone down here in Moorhead City. I need to turn up my light here in a second. I'm getting darker by the second. Um, but anyway, one of the lessons learned there is, like for example, over half of our private lenders are using their retirement funds to fund our deals. Well, if I didn't have a relationship with Tr uh, Quest Trust out of Houston, Texas, to introduce my new private lenders to, uh, to get their retirement funds moved over, I'd be missing out on over half of our retirement funds or, or half of our funding that we're able to use. So here's the writer downer. Establish a relationship with questtrust.com out of Houston, Texas, so that when you're talking to a new potential private lender in your warm market and they've got retirement funds that they're not happy with, then what can you do? You can introduce them to, um, in fact, the person that we use most of us, his name is Colin Taylor. As a matter of fact, he spoke at the live event a couple of weeks ago, and uh, he'll help get funds moved over from your private lender that's got retirement funds uh, to where they can start uh, funding your deals. Thank you for sharing, Banjo and Erica, on that right there. And then I saw Ben Mayo here a second ago. Uh, ben, there you are. Say hello, Ben. Hello, everyone. Ben's in Tarboro, North Carolina. He's a graduated platinum. He's also uh, uh, in Mastermind. Um, here is another uh, aha moment or, or really a question that came in. And so, Ben, I'll let you take this question. Um, do we borrow unsecured funds from our private lenders? Um, and if not, why not? Uh, no, we, that's a good question. No, we do not borrow unsecured funds. All our funds are secured uh, by the real estate. And all the closings are done by a qualified real estate attorney. None of our properties, none of our private lenders uh, are out there unsecured. A matter of fact, they get uh, put on the insurance as a mortgagee. If the house is purchased with their money, they also get uh, added to the, uh, can't think of it right now, they get added to the, uh, uh, just lost it. <laughs> are, you, are, you, are you talking about uh, adding them to the insurance policy as a mortgagee? They, I got that, but the other one is the, uh, the deed. yeah, the, you get a deed, you get a deed of trust and a uh, mortgage. And additionally, additionally insured on title insurance. Title insurance. <laughs> That's it, Chris. I couldn't think. That's exactly right, Ben. So all the notes and promissory notes that we are um, putting in place for our private lenders, it's all being backed by the real estate that we are purchasing. Absolutely. Um, let's see here, Chaffee. Let's give you one. Um, hey, hey, Jay, before we move on, uh, uh, can I just add something to what Ben said? And uh, Sure. Uh, and that is, is that they, there's nothing to prevent you from doing unsecured funds, right? And so you can, and, and people have in the past. And I believe that what sets Jay's program, what sets the, the students that we work with uh, apart from any other real estate investor or other uh, uh, real estate investors out there is that we do have this system and the system is designed to protect the private lender. And part of that is having everything secured. Part of that is working with professionals 
And part of that is having the right documentation to make sure that they're safe and secure. And all that packaged together is part of what attracts people to you as a private lender, or as an investor, um, for you to um, raise private money. And so you have this system that Jay's put together that says, hey, I, you know, my focus is to make sure that your money is protected and this is how we do it. And that's all part of it. Whereas I've known some private lenders or, or some investors in the past, and, and I'm guilty of this before I met Jay, I had no idea where, you know, I would uh, like people would go up and say, hey, send me a $50,000 check. You know, here's my account number. And, and it's completely insecured. And, you know, that happens all the time. And, and I'm not saying that that's bad. I'm just saying that what sets Jay and the students apart that we work with is that we've put together this entire system of protection um, to make sure that the private lender's money is protected regardless of what happens to you or the property. Yeah, and along with that, for example, my 89-year-old mother, she just turned 89 years old. She is one of my private lenders, and uh, she was at the event a couple of weeks ago on the private lender panel and at the VIP. And um, and look, here's the, the point that I make at the event. Even with all the notes that I've done with my And so um, that's important, as Chaffee said, to look after your private lenders. Now, Chaffee, you were born a thinker brain. You were born an analyzer, right? You're on mute, by the way. So <laughs> I was, I was going to say, yes, I was born, Jay. <laughs> yes, yeah. And so here's a, um, here's a question that was submitted at the uh, event. The question is, how techy do you need to be to run this business with automated systems? Now, before you answer that question, Chaffee, um, you know, one automated system that our use is our CRM that we recommend that keeps up with all your sellers, all your buyers, et cetera. Um, but how techy do you need to be uh, to be successful in this business? Well, so Jay, you are always asking me how to edit PowerPoints. <laughs> I sure don't know how to edit a PowerPoint. So, so even if you don't know how to edit a PowerPoint, you can run a multi-million dollar real estate company because <laughs> just that's exactly what Jay does. So, Jay, I think you're one of the least techy people I know. And also one of the most successful people I know in this. I don't even know. I don't even know what techie means. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, you know what the the bottom line or one of the bottom lines that uh, we do have people know is the the Mao calculations, right? The uh, Mayo calculation, Mao, Mayo, however you want to say it, which is the maximum allowable offer. And so, you know, as long as you can calculate that and you stick with the math, um, and you work with the right people, you can run this business. So you can be super non-techie. And I will also say, and I will also caution you that if you're too techie, uh, if you're too analytical, then you end up falling into this category of what we call analysis paralysis, and you end up not doing anything. And by the time you come around to doing something after you've analyzed the heck uh, out of everything, 10,000 different ways, the deal's already gone because other people have made offers and, and gotten the deal from underneath you. So, you know, you could be super non-techie or you could be super techie. And the bottom line is you got to take action. You have to work with the right people. You have to build relationships and you have to make offers. And if you're not making offers, you're not doing deals. Are you feeling inspired by the knowledge you gained in this episode? Then head over to jconnor.com slash money guide. That's J-C-O-N-N-E-R dot com slash money guide and download your free guide that shares seven reasons why private money will skyrocket your real estate investing business right now. Again, that's jconnor.com slash money guide to get your free guide. We'll see you next time on Raising Private Money with Jay Connor.